The hinges are blown off. Restrictions are gone. Boundaries are open. Limitations are only what you make. You've stepped into a clearing. You're out of the box. With Toppy Lexicon. Toppy Lexicon. <laughs> 2010 marks the end for little orphan Annie. Her comic strip has been removed from the papers. Yep, it's the end for her. It's over for little orphan Annie. I understand they're doing a revival for the musical on Broadway, but what's that? Some kind of compensation? We're really sorry we took your comic strip, so we'll let you be on Broadway for a while. I think it's a big mistake. I think Annie's going to be real bitter, or she's going to be real desperate, and that's not entertainment. She, she may come out and she'll be real bitter and she'll break character and she'll say things like, you're going to miss me. Oh, yeah, you will. You'll be sorry you left me out in the cold. And they'll be real bitter and, and it's not going to be pretty and people will probably walk out on it. Or, or, or she's going to be real desperate and she's going to try to sing. The sun will come out. <laughs> How do you sing the sun's going to come out tomorrow when you know your comic strip is over? How do you do that? And she's going to come out and she's going to sing and she's going to say, please, please give me back my strip. And she's going to be real clingy and desperate. And you know how that makes you feel. It just makes you want to shake somebody off even faster. And once the musical's over, you're going to go, whoo, man, I'm glad that's over. Goodbye, Annie. I'm glad she's gone. And, well, little orphan Annie will belong to the ages. I don't know. Is there a comic strip heaven? You know, in comic strip heaven, do, do, do you have all the comic strips that have gone on before? Mutt and Jeff, Aliou, Aliou, now that's a guy. Uh, he should be in comic strip heaven. I really liked him, him and that dinosaur. But would Little Orphan Annie go to comic strip heaven? I, I don't think there would be a comic strip hell. I, I don't think you'd ever send anyone to hell for not being funny. At least I would hope not. But... Maybe a, maybe maybe comic strip purgatory, you know, where you just sort of drift around and I guess you try to learn to be funny. The question is, why did Little Orphan Annie come to an end? Well, I'll tell you why. First of all, her, her comic strip never updated. It always stayed back in the decade that it was in, whatever decade that was, maybe the 20s, I don't know. And then again, there was people around her that never told Little Orphan Annie to straighten up, to change things up a little bit. Shake things up, Annie. You can't just stay like this all the time. Sandy, her dog Sandy, S did Sandy ever do anything to help Little Orphan Annie? Did Sandy ever offer any advice? No, Sandy the dog just said arf. That's it, arf. <laughs> Not even arf arf or bow wow, just arf. And, and, then, and then there's Daddy Warbucks. Daddy Warbucks, what about that guy? He's a billionaire, right? Or a millionaire or something like that. He's got, he's really, really rich. But what does he ever do? Is he really that responsible? I, I think he just throws money at problems. I think it's, I think it's all, uh, it's all he, it's, that's all he ever did for Annie. He just threw money at the problem. Oh, you're an orphan? Here, have some money. I'm Daddy Warbucks, here. Did Daddy Warbucks ever do anything proactive? Did, did you ever hear Daddy Warbucks ever say, we're going to address this problem. We're going to take care of it. He didn't even do anything to really help out Annie. Why didn't he adopt Annie? I mean, he had the funds. He had the resources. He could have adopted Annie. We know he didn't adopt Annie because the name of the comic strip is Little Orphan Annie. And it would have changed. It would have become Little Adopted Annie. <laughs> had Daddy Warbucks done the right thing. But, you know, I think the problem really is the eyes. Those eyes are weird, man. The whole comic strip, Daddy Warbucks, Sandy, Annie herself, all of them, I mean, they've got those hollow oval eyes. You don't know what they're looking at. You don't know if they're looking at you. You don't know if they're looking at each other. You don't know where they're looking. You don't know where they stand. They're just hiding behind those hollow oval eyes. You know, it's said that the windows of the soul are the eyes. So what are we learning here? Those eyes, man. It just freaks me out. I mean, how do you know little orphan Annie doesn't carry a switchblade? Or a gun? Or a luger? Or, or something hidden in her hair? You notice that hair? How wild it is? It's Phyllis Diller wild. If 
for whatever it's worth, little orphan Annie, we're going to miss you. Maybe you're in cartoon heaven. Or maybe comic strip purgatory. Maybe, Annie, after all these years, you're going to drop those oval eyes and you're going to find yourself, you know, out of the box. <laughs> <laughs>